Welcome back to the session on LaTeX. In this session, we will learn to add some animation effects to the text in the slides. Sometimes there is a need to display only certain text, rows of a table or certain items and we need to reveal them or unhide them one by one. Well, this is what we just did. In this session, we will learn how to achieve it. This can be achieved using commands given here. Let us examine them one by one. The pause command can be used to display the items one after another. It can also be used for text, blocks, tables, etc. The order in which the items appear is sequential. Let us have a look at a demo. Well, I already have some code written here for creating four slides. The first slide displays some list of colors using the itemized environment. The second displays list of some animals using enumerate environment and the third displays basic alert and example blocks. Finally, the fourth one displays a table. Now, let us say the color red should appear first, the next slide the color blue and finally, on the another slide color green. So, we write pause after red slash p a u s e. Let us build and run. Notice that the red color appears on the first slide and the remaining two colors appear on the next one. Let us add a pause after blue as well. Build and run. Well, now all colors appear on different slides. So, when you view the PDF in presentation mode and move ahead, you will see these items one by one. The placement and size of the text etcetera are taken care of by Beamer to give an effect of animation. Please do try it out. Let us switch back to our slides. Using the pause command, we displayed colors on different slides one by one, but they were in sequence. What if we want them to appear as red, green and then blue? Well, we can do this using overlays. Let us have a look at the demo. Let us modify the animal slide such that the actual position in the item should remain same, only the sequence of the display should be lion, deer, tiger, elephant and then monkey. We do this by mentioning the order number in angular brackets. So, we write one dash for lion, tiger, three dash, elephant, four dash, deer, two and finally, monkey five. Let us build and run. Notice the way in which the items are displayed. First lion, then deer, then tiger, then elephant and finally, monkey. Well, the order number is also known as the slide number, but with respect to this slide only. For example, monkey appears on the fifth slide with respect to this particular slide animal. Now, what if we want to display the animal tiger on the slide number 3 only? So, we remove the hyphen, build and run. So, now we have the tiger on the third slide only. This is how we change the display of the sequence of items. Let us see one more example with blocks. Let us write pause after the basic block and after the alert block. Let us build and run. So, first the basic block appears, then alert block and finally, the example block. Instead of pause, we can also mention the sequence in which the block should appear. Let us remove pause and add numbers. Let us add block number 1 hyphen, alert block on the third slide 3 hyphen and the example block on the second slide 2 hyphen. Build and run. So, first the basic block appears followed by the example block and followed by the alert block. Let us go back to our slides. 
we can also display the rows of a table one by one using pos command, but it will be in sequential order. Let us write slash on slide 1 hyphen. Note that the on slide command should be written prior to the items in that row. Let us display these rows in reverse. For example, we start with eraser, then scale, then pencil and then pen. Let us copy paste this. and we change the numbers, so that they appear in reverse order. So, eraser 2, scale 3, pencil 4 and pen 5. Let us build and run. Observe that the header row is displayed first, then eraser, then scale, then pencil and finally pen. Using pause, overlay and on slide, we did add some effects to our text in which some text was displayed and the other was revealed one by one. But one could not guess what was going to be displayed. It would have been nice if the text to be displayed revealed later on was displayed in faded grey colour and gets a normal colour when needed. The command to do this is set beamer covered transparent. Let us add it slash set beamer covered transparent. Build and run. Observe that the items to be revealed are faded and they appear in black when needed. In case we do not want the styling for all the overlays, then we write another command. Instead of transparent, we write invisible. Let us write this after the animals frame. Let us build and run. There you go. The color and the animal slides have the text faded out, but blocks and the stationary items do not have it. Let us switch back to our slides. These are the commands that we just saw. So, in this session, we added effects to our slides. Thank you. Have a nice day.